a little different here today. Doing some snow building. Which apparently is not as bad as it would seem on uh, in this game. Let's start there. All right, I'm back on. Okay. I think if we go out this way, we can find the, that road again. I don't do a handstand. <laughs> well. I think we go up there? Maybe we're down. I don't know. I think it's down. Looks okay. like the uh, going the other way goes dead end into clear cut area. Oh, okay. I'll follow you. I don't know where we're going though. <laughs> Back to town or whatever. Or down. We can go down and then cut across and then go around. Because there is a uh, another side, another up side of the mountain. Those of you watching, these are by Iconic. I like them. Yeah, yeah, my goodness. It makes it kind of difficult to judge your speed. Oh, I got turned around. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta keep it on the road because this thing has no suspension. Pretty deep here, wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Crash. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Let's head towards the high plains and see what we can find. Alright, new lead. I don't think, I think, isn't there a river right there? There's a river. Can't ride on that. Does the river 
Yankees? I don't think so, no. Nope. A little too complex for Giants. Yeah, uh, there's a way to make them freeze, but I don't know if it works in, in 22. I knew it worked in 19. There's gotta be a way across. Check this bridge here. That's the edge of the map there. Oh, sorry. Oop. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> At least it seems pretty really easy to get these back up on their uh, tread. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you need help, uh, super strength is working. There you go. Well, this is, I think this is the edge of the map. I gotta find a high plane. I think it's kind of behind us. I think we're on our own now. I wonder if I can climb these logs. I don't think so. I don't... Nope. They don't have good... Uh, like uh, the front tracks do not, or front skis do not flex that much. Not that I don't know if we could climb them in real life either. Oh, this hill does not have a collision either. That dish is really, really unforgiving. <laughs> Once you get to about 
60 or 70 is when it gets really uh, sketchy. <laughs> Incredibly, yes. Yeah, I'm going to open that. Or hitting any bot, really. <laughs> oh, oh dear. <laughs> I think we can go into these hills over here. I gotta find the road. It really is, yeah. I, this map, even though, like I said, I'm getting tired of small equipment, I really do like this map. It just feels like a, a natural place. Yeah, I don't think I've been on a map like quite like it. No, me neither. Okay, if we follow this around to the left, I think it will take us kind of turn around. Oh, good. Hit the ditch. <laughs> detail he put into areas that are not really usable in game. Read, yes. No, it, it feels like I said, it feels like a real close. You just kind of just keep going. Because nobody's going to be plowing a field here or really cutting down any of these trees, but yet here it is. Yeah, no, he... This is one of the best maps I'd say in history. In terms of detail. And the nice thing is he did it without making it really complicated. Like there's not a ton of productions or anything. All this yeah, weird exactly. stuff. It's just the rain. Trees, you know. Field. Oh. What's the spot? This is that bridge. I tried coming over it once before and I got put all stuff up like underneath it. Cell point or something down in here, though. Oh, well, must be a stone crusher. Oh, down there. Ah, interesting. And I like how he made this uh, bridge deck have snow as well. Must be a place of type of thing. I just wish it had the snow had fallen a little deeper. It's more like an inch or two here. Yeah, it's really just a skim. Yeah. And I tried fast forwarding through winter, but every time it snows, then it warms up and it doesn't snow again. Yeah, exactly. There's the lonely old church. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Does it have an interior? I don't think it does. What's going on with this field up here? <laughs> it's all blue. Oh, that's the uh a placeable placeable pasture. Oh, uh, okay. Which if I can find the trigger I can turn that off. Cemetery headstones up here. Yeah, yeah. He does a really cool job with his building. Like the texture detail is pretty impressive. Nice weathered look kind of deal. Is he on any social media? We should get him on the server. Oh, uh, yeah, he is. I'm not sure if he has Discord, but his page is Elk Mountain Mining. And he does follow my page. I should invite him, actually. I actually owned this field on my single-player Elk Mountain save that I did for a little while. Nice. I mowed this entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was hoping to have some cows back here, but I don't know if we're going to last long enough on this map to actually have some. I struggle to stay on maps. Yeah, I hear ya. Every time a new one comes along, I'm like, well, I can, I can be on that map. <laughs> Distracted easily. Very, yes. Like this, uh... This new North Dakota map is interesting to me. I don't, obviously, we don't have a, a large enough crowd to farm that whole map. It would be nice to have a, a tiny farm and a massive thing kind of deal. Yeah, I'd like to try it out at least to take a look at it. Do I have another one of these blue walkers? Looks like it. This is the farm that I owned on my single player save. Okay, give me one second. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I think that's actually one of the default barns, but he made it openable and usable. Oh yes, that's right. Which is how it's the uh, for sale signs too, and once you buy it, they go away. It's cool. It's it's interesting how they put all that effort into making these buildings and they didn't make them usable. We can peek through the windows, I guess. You can only fit a small tractor in there, but it's still pretty cool. It has like a basement too, right? Though. Yeah, fair That's something that does add a lot to a map, though, when you have random buildings you can walk inside. Oh, yeah, for sure. And that was one of my biggest disappointments with Elm Creek. It's all these beautiful buildings that are just completely useless to take up space. Yeah, exactly. And they did actually, for Giants, make some really nice buildings. But, this is weird. My goal is to see if we can get back to the farm. Um, 
without having to get back on the road? The answer is probably no. That's a good question. We might have to go to that. I want to see how far down this is. Oh, sorry. the tree. Whoops, sorry. Barely see it on the bushes. At the end of the river? Uh, <laughs> oh no, stop. Ah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. Let yourself not get in the river. Yeah, you can't drive through. <laughs> the swimming animation is actually not bad. I don't see it. Oh, there's a, there's a bridge right up there. Okay, see if you can reset. Let me see if I can reset yours to the end. Store. We can try to get over that bridge. See the bridge right over there? Yeah. Can you super strength it out of the water? I don't think I can get down low enough. And I think it's also broken or something. Oh yeah, it says broken needs to be reset. Yeah, I got it out, but it doesn't work. It's really fun. How do I reset stuff again? I think you have to do it from the map, don't you? Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I found it. Okay. Let me try to get mine back up. Then we should be able to take that road. Alright, I'll meet you back over there. Those of you just joining, we are doing some snowmobiling on Elf Mountain. I'm trying not to get my snow machine stuck in the river. the logging road it should take us back yep perfect yeah these are a bi-iconic modding they're kind of cool 
something a little different than our usual. And they actually put out a snow particle instead of dirt, which is kind of nice. is going down also. One second here. And let's see if we... And this road should be the back way... Um, back way to the farm. That is not good. <laughs> Don't fall in. I do not want to go down there. I'll never get back up. One thing I also like about this map is this loop feeling. Like a lot of maps, there's just an end. It's nice to have a road that just kind of runs around and you can just keep going around. Yeah, for sure. It makes it feel bigger. I'm going to go to the right and the left. Yeah, I think left. It looks like yeah. a dead end to the right, but I wonder where it goes. Yeah, it probably is.
Ah, that's cool. Okay, this is exactly what you're talking about. It's kind of little, not necessarily detail for farming, just nice stuff. Yeah, you kind of wonder why they put it in, but you enjoy that they did. Yeah, exactly. If only we could fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Next mod. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what exactly that would take. Like some kind of like... I mean, obviously it would not really be a fish, but... Like a randomizer that puts something on the hook. Every, every five tries or something. Yeah, I wonder if you could make the lake into a type of field with a water state. Oh, that's a good uh, thing. Like having the rocks that pop up, I just have fish that pop up or something. <laughs> yeah, 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 that would be fun. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. That's fine. These things are really hard to control at high speed. I'll let you go in front of me so I don't keep bumping into you. Because the problem is I keep slowing down and then you're going... That was me, I rammed into the back of you. A few things this game really lacks is a uh, like particle system that to have like a huge rooster tail behind you. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. But other than that, it's, the graphics are they're they're decent, but they could be better. Yeah, especially when you look at some of those hunting games and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. a clear cut or like some well this is a big open area huh interesting uh oh oh no what happened <laughs> wrong way <laughs> too hard on the donuts <laughs> oh no Maybe like a logging landing or something. Well, that was one of my ideas when we first started playing. Was to, uh, do like logging and mining or whatever. But that did not happen. Yeah. I think we go left. I think. I'm not totally sure myself. Yeah, that was one thing that was pretty cool on that Russian map we were doing. We had farming going and logging. Yeah, that was probably the first time we've ever had that together. I think that's the farm right there, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm trying to find the terminal. Where is it? I think you're going to have to go all the way around. Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> I didn't even realize there's another lake here. Off to our right. With another lookout in the canoe. Yeah, we don't really have both in the game. Functional boat. Somebody had them going in 19. Yeah. Well, normally they'll script it like a vehicle that has, like, invisible tires. Yeah. Um, which does work. <laughs> it's a stop. Move all the snow out of the way. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, oh. it definitely does not like the bumps. definitely have to improve that for uh, our next map. Better farmyard design and more machines spread out or something. Folks, I think that's where I'm going to end this stream today. Thank you guys for watching. Probably a little different than our norm. A little bit of fun. We'll be back to farming here probably next week. Well, actually, probably not next week, but in the near future. Thank you guys for watching.